Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead. So this meeting is being recorded per Governor Lamont's Executive Order 7.B. And uh, the one thing that we ask is that you mute, mute yourselves. Um, so there should be a, a button on the interface for the meeting to, to mute yourself. And with Zoom, if you're at a computer, uh, if you wanna talk, you can hold down the space bar to unmute yourself. So that's one user tip. For the folks that are on the phone, um, it's kind of up to your device and how how that works. But just if you could mute yourself. And I think uh, Trish from IT may have the ability to mute yourself too if there's a lot of background noise. So with that said, uh, we're being recorded. Uh, this meeting is the uh, Wednesday, June 17, 2020 meeting of the uh, Inland Wetlands and Conservation Commission for the Town of Wethersfield. It's a virtual meeting in accordance with the governor's executive order. Uh, at this point in the meeting, we have opportunities for general comments from the public to be received and heard. Uh, checking with town staff, did we receive any, any comments from the public? Don? So no comments received from the public? Um, no, nothing. Okay. Uh, so moving on to the public meeting portion of the meeting. Uh, we have application number uh, 722-20, uh, Raja Maharaj, 220 Broad Street, parcel number 263-024. It's the application for a new in-ground pool within a regulated area. And with us tonight, I believe we have the applicant that can uh, tell us a little bit about the project and uh, also describe how uh, the engineering review comments have been addressed. Hi, thank you. Um, and thank you for my name. That was actually a better pronunciation than when I do it sometimes. Oh, okay. Most people butcher the name, but that was pretty good. Um, so uh, going back to January, uh, I had reached out to Vernon Pullman, um, and they came out and provided uh, um, uh, an estimate for me to put a pool in the property. We went in the back and kind of laid out where we thought would work best. We then um, hired uh, a survey company, uh, Juliano Associates. They hired a soil samplist who, you know, I was told that because there's a wetlands line back there, that we should get a soil samplist to find out exactly where the wetlands line is. Uh, when they did that, um, the, the line closer to my home than it was portrayed on the town map. Um, so after talking to some people, we made a decision to pull the pool in closer. And we, we believe we've laid it in a place that is far enough away from the wetlands line. It does touch in that floodplain zone. And um, uh, the, in, the town engineer's comments that came back had some concerns about that. And we had our survey company submit a message today that I believe addresses all of those comments. We basically complied with all of the recommendations made by the town engineer. Um, if we do get this application approved, then we will then request the, the building permits and hopefully uh, start the project um, shortly thereafter. I, I don't know if there's any specific questions you guys have about uh, what we're doing or anything you want to know ab about the property of the project. I'm happy to answer those questions, but that's sort of, of an overview of, uh, of how we got to where we are. Okay. And then, Don, did uh, you have a chance to review the responses? Oh, uh, yeah. From... It looks like they, they complied with all of Derek's requests from his uh, June 11th memo, his June 11th uh, review. Okay. So. And then did all the commissioners get a chance to take a look at the, the revision as well as the, the comments and the responses? I did. I did. I did. This is Mayor Frazier. Okay. Do we have any additional comments or questions for the applicant? 
Yes, Raj, Commissioner DeChacho. My question, my question is, does the Vernon pool man know, I mean, is he aware that there is wetlands on? Yes, in, in fact, we left the flags up um, from the soil sample list. There's grass growing around it because we haven't been able to cut it, but they, the flags are there, so they don't have to come out and re-flag re the area. And we told them this, uh, that the wetlands line was closer, and that's how they helped us move the pool in. Um, one of the things they told us they were going to do is they were going to put both the silt fence and the bales of hay um, just for that added protection. Okay, so that would also probably delineate the lines. So he, he's aware of to keep the, you know, to try to limit the construction in that area as well. Yeah, in fact, we were able to not put any equipment on the wetlands area. Uh, the way the um, easement works on the property next door. Um, and if he can't swing his truck through the gate that's there, um, there's a, a, um, a stockade fence that's wood that we can pull down and bring all the equipment in through there. Okay. And is he uh, dewatering? Is he prepared to dewater um, if he has to? I noticed that the pool is an elevation, the deep end's an elevation 20. He may encounter some water there, so is he prepared to dewater? Yes. Thank you. Did anybody else have any other questions? Do we have a motion to approve the application? Yes, I'd like to um, propose, a, um, um, let's see, uh, for application number 722-20, Raja Maharaj, 220 Broad Street, parcel number 263024, as stipulated um, by uh, the town that he has agreed to make uh, those changes, modifications. And then do we have a second? Oh, Clark, you're on mute. There we go. Clark Nelson second that. Okay, so we'll put it to a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Okay. And then that carries. So you're approved. Thank you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Uh, and you don't have to stay on the meeting if you don't want okay. to. All right. So. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thanks. Uh, moving on to the Conservation Commission business. Uh, Don, do you want to give us an update on your um, updating of the GIS database as well as other efforts? Yeah, there's, there's no new business for the Conservation Commission. I started doing the uh, building the GIS layer for the uh, public open space and private open space. And that'll be ongoing as, as time allows. Um, okay. we're still, we're, we still haven't gotten any, haven't made any progress on the uh, updating of the conservation easement inventory book that we, that we got from Kathy. Um, that'll be an ongoing project also. And you're doing it as time allows? Yeah. Okay. And um, as far as, uh, oh, you, what, what are we on the agenda? Oh, as far as the regulations, uh, taking it about as far as I can take it. And so it's been through the town attorney, engineering and planning department. So I'll send it out to the commissioners next week and we can shoot for a public hearing for maybe the August meeting. So do you wanna give us one or two weeks to provide comments to you or? Sure, yeah. I'm not sure if we'll have a next meeting. It's all dependent on if we get applications. Right. Does yeah, that sound okay, guys? To... Okay, I'll send it out next week to everyone. Should I, just, should I just go to the committee at this point or just send it off to all the commissioners for comment? Uh, what did you guys, did you guys want to see the revised regulations? I know everybody's on mute, but. This yeah, is I mean, Clark, I'd like to see a copy. 
Okay. okay. Same thing with you, Lou. You, you're on mute. So I think Lou wants to see him, right? Yeah, I, I do. Want, I'm sorry. I was looking at okay. the minute. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, because, you know, there were some comments made by the town attorney, and then there's some other changes made that we haven't seen. So I think it would be prudent for us all to, to go through them and make sure mm -hmm. we're okay with them before it goes out to public hearing, and as well as it gets shipped off to DEP. Those mm -hmm. are the two next steps in the process. Okay. So that sounds good. Uh, did anybody have any questions about the Conservation Commission part of the meeting? Okay, so we can move on to the general business part of the meeting. Uh, we have the minutes from our last meeting. So if you guys want to take a look at those. And then Suzanne's not on the call, but it's being recorded so we can She'll listen or hear any um, markups that we have. I thought they looked pretty good. Does anybody have any comments or questions? Or markups? I think we lost somebody too. We lost Joe. I think it was Joe. Suzanne, Suzanne um, Mary's got the 203 number. Yes. Do we have a motion to approve the minutes as submitted? Motion to approve the minutes. Do we have a second on that? Second. So is Mary with the second? Yes, please. Okay, so we'll put it to a vote. So all in favor? Aye. 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 And opposed? So those pass. Uh, do we get any correspondence, Don? No, we haven't, I haven't gotten anything in quite a while. Usually I get emails from DP and newslet newsletters, but I haven't gotten anything. Has anybody tried the, the training that Don sent out to us? I know DEP revamped their, um, their training modules. This is Mary Fridge. I tried it, but it's not accessible by iPhone. You have to have okay. a computer. So. Yeah, that's what Don was saying. You're having some trouble. Yeah. And then were the, the CDs or DVDs that, that Don provided working out? or? Yes, and, and I also am able to get on the internet and access the old um, teaching education training from 2016 to I think 2007. So I'm okay. doing that too. That's good. I've been tempted to, to do to, um, you never know what you're gonna learn going into it. So that's it. Does anybody have any other discussion or? I think that's it. Everybody's on mute, so. So do we have a motion to adjourn the meeting? Motion to adjourn. And then do we have a second on that? Second. So all in favor? Aye. 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 That, that's it. Nice job, James. All right, see you guys. Thank you. All right, see you, thanks. Good night. Have a good night, guys, we'll see you. Good night.